today i am going to start fifth unit name of the fifth unit is residue subtopics of this evaluation of residue by formula and by lorentz series second topic is residue theorem using residue theorem how to clear integral problem results third topic is evaluation of integrals of the type improper integral minus infinitive to infinitive f of x dx model second type is zero to type f of cos theta sin theta d theta third one is minus infinitive to infinitive e power i mx f of x dx the first topic is evaluation of residue by formula of lorentz series now before going to that topic first we have to know the standard definitions the first standard definition is singular point of f of x singular point is also called as singularity of a function e is that point at which the function f of z ceases to be analytic i mean singular singularity of a function is nothing but a point at which the function the function fails to be analytic analytic is nothing but differentiable i mean f of z is not differentiable at the point that point is called as here singularity or singular singular of the function here also pole next one is pole a type of singular point is called pole singular point is also called as another name pole so pole definition given as simply a type of singularity point is called pole pole of analytic function if there exists a positive integer m such that limit of z tends to a z minus a whole power m f of z equals to a which is not equal to zero then the point z equal to a is called pole of order m here power of this factor is m and the product of these two is not equal to zero then z equal to a is called pole of order m once again pole is nothing but singular point singular point is nothing but at which the function fails to be analytic analytic is nothing but differentiable so that next one is zero of analytic function zero of analytic function is nothing but zero simply called as root root of the equation if but in this unit instead of root the name given as here zero of an analytic function a zero of analytic function f of z is a value of z such that f of z equal to zero by equating function to zero you will get roots those roots are called as zeros of the analytic function particularly clearly a point a is called a zero of analytic function f of z if f of a equal to zero by writing a in place of z the function value will be zero in this case such point is called as here zero next one here the next one is zero of mth order zero of mth order is nothing but root of the function m order m third is nothing but if an analytic function f of z can be expressed in the form of f of z equal to z minus a whole power m phi of z where phi of z is analytic and phi of a is not equal to zero then z equal to a is called zero of mth order of the function f of z here power of this factor is m and z equal to a is called zero zero is nothing but root now root a z equal to a is a root or zero of order m so first of all singular singular point is nothing but z value at which the function fails to be analytic the same singular point is also called as simply pole now pole of analytic function standard definition is limit of z tends to a z minus a whole power m f of z is not equal to zero then z equal to a is called mth order pole similarly zero of analytic function a function of f a zero of analytic function f of z is a value of z such that f of z equal to zero that means zero is nothing but root of the equation at which the function value equal to zero that's why the second definition given as here particularly a point a is called a zero of analytic function f of z if f of a equal to zero i mean at the point a the function value is zero such point is called as here zero of the analytic function next zero of mth order standard definition if an analytic function f of z can be expressed in the form f of z equals to z minus a whole power n phi of z 
here phi of z is analytic second function is analytic and phi of a not equal to 0 then z equal to a is called 0 of mth order of the function f of z z equal to a is called 0 of mth order a, a also root but order of that root is m after that simple 0 is a 0 of order 1 if any root power is 1 if power the power of this factor is 1 then that is called a simple root or simple 0 okay now note points these are the main points most important points to solve residue problems note number point 1 poles of f of z are obtained by equating denominator to 0 suppose the function defined numerator by denominator form in this case poles are obtained by equating denominator to 0 okay for example here this is the function form here here 0 of f of z are obtained by equating numerator to 0 for poles equate denominator to 0 for zeros equate numerator to 0 for example this is fraction form f of z defined numerator denominator this is called as numerator this one is denominator by taking total fraction name given as here f of z be the function now we need zeros and poles we need in this case as per procedure zeros of f of z are given by f of z equal to 0 i mean by equating this function to 0 z minus 3 equal to 0 z equal to 3 z equal to 3 is called root of the equation or 0 of the function okay so that here z equal to 3 is a 0 of order 1 why because factor of power of this factor is 1 so this is z equal to 3 is a root of order 1 root is also called as in this chapter 0 root another name is 0 so that but power of this factor is 1 so that z equal to 3 is also called as simple 0 next for the same function you can clear poles poles are nothing but singularities of f of z are given by e equate denominator to 0 what is the denominator here this one so by equating this from this you can write values of z or z equal to 2 z equal to 6 z equal to 2 is a simple pole of f of z why because power of this factor is 1 so that z equal to 2 is a simple pole of f of z z equal to 6 another pole of order 2 power of this factor is 2 that's why the number 6 is called a pole of order 2 now second example f of z equal to z minus 1 whole cube this is also analytic function now z equal to 1 is a 0 or root of order 3 here also by equating f of z to 0 we will get z minus 1 whole cube equal to 0 then z equal to 1 is also a 0 of order 3 here power of this factor is 3 so order called as 3 now another function f of z equal to 1 by 1 minus z to get To get here root zeros zeros zero is given by f of e equate the function to zero one by one minus z equal to zero now here by interchanging these two elements one by zero equal to one by z one minus z one minus z equal to this is equal to infinity now z equal to infinity z equal to infinity is a simple zero of f of z here power of this factor is 1 so z equal to infinity is a simple 0 of f of z the next example given as here f of z equals to sin z now to get zeros or roots of this equation equate f of z to 0 equate the function to 0 function value given as sin z equal to 0 0 also expressed in terms of sin sin n pi sin n pi is also called as sin plus or minus n pi sin of plus n pi is equal to 0 sin of minus, minus n pi also 0 so sin z expressed as sin of plus or minus n pi by cancellation sin function z values or z values are only are there z equal to plus or minus n pi 
where n equals to 0 1 2 3 so these are all called as zeros or roots of the function f of z equal to sin z the next point note number 3 poles of f of z simply taken as let f of z be analytic function the point z equal to a is said to be pole of f of z if limit of z tends to a f of z equals to infinity okay in this case the point a is called as pole of f of z pole of f of z is nothing but singular point at which the function fails to be in an analytic another one is limit of z tends to a f of z value is infinity I mean function value is infinity at the point z equal to a such point is called as here pole of f of z examples f of z is a function now for this now in at z minus 3 if denominator is 0 the function value is infinity so that to get poles equate denominator to 0 then f of z will be changed as infinity by equating this to 0 then the root of function is z equal to 3 now z equal to 3 is a pole of order 4 at z equal to 3 the function value will be infinity in this case such point is called as here pole of order 4 for order 4 here power of this factor is 4 so that that is called as order 4 totally this is z equal to 3 is a pole of order 3 second function here this is also sin hz by z power 4 now if denominator is 0 then function is infinity from that you can define corresponding poles so z power 4 equal to 0 then f of z will be infinity i mean z power 4 equal to 0 then z equal to 0 is also a pole of order 4 next singular points okay again note point simply it is also reminded as a singular point of a function f of z is a point at which the function f of z fails to be analytic already we discussed about this one for example f of z equal to e power z by z minus 2 whole cube here also equate denominator to 0 if denominator is 0 the function is infinity in this case the from that you can define singular point or pole z minus 2 whole cube equal to 0 the z equal to 2 is called as a singular point of order 3 okay these are the main points and also you have to know infinite series of first standard functions now 1 plus z whole power minus 1 expanded as alternate signs 1 minus z plus z square minus z cube plus and so on the condition is modulus of z value is less than 1 modulus of z value is less than 1 second series is 1 minus z whole power minus 1 expansion of this one is 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube plus and so on 1, one modulus of z is less than 1 both are same but everyone is positive here now log of 1 plus z is also infinite series form z minus z square by 2 plus z cube by 3 plus and so on modulus of z is less than 1 same condition for these three z power 1 by 1 z square by 2 z cube by 3 with alternate signs log of 1 minus z same terms but everyone is negative in this case condition is same e power z expansion is 1 plus z by 1 factorial plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial plus and so on here condition is modulus of z is less than infinity in this case only you can expand e power z after that next series infinite series sin z sin z also expanded as here z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z power 5 by 5 factorial plus and so on here base powers power of z is 1 power of z is 3 power of z is 5 cos z even powers related 1 minus z square by 2 factorial plus z power 4 by 4 factorial plus and so on condition is modulus of z is less than infinity another one is tan z z plus z cube by 3 plus here 2 z power 5 by 15 plus and so on modulus of z is less than 90 this is the condition for the infinite series of tan z sin h z expansion z plus z cube by 3 factorial plus z power 5 by 5 factorial plus and so on modulus of z is less than infinity similarly cos z having given powers 
वन प्लस जेड स्क्वायर बाई टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस जेड पावर फोर बाई फोर फैक्टोरियल प्लस एंड सो ऑन हियर मॉडल ऑफ जेड इज लेस दैन इनफिनिटी दीज आर द मेन फंडामेंटल्स टू डिस्कस रेसिडियो प्रॉब्लम्स हियर द मेन टॉपिक नेम इज रेसिडियोज रेसिडियोज कंसिडर द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इक्वल्स टू समेशन ऑफ एन इक्वल टू माइनस इनफिनिटिव टू इनफिनिटिव ए एन जेड माइनस ए होल पवर एम दिस इज द सीरीज हियर एन टेक्स माइनस इनफिनिटिव टू इनफिनिटिव नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सप्लेबल अप्लाइड फॉर एम एन ओनली नाउ एफ ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू फर्स्ट एन इक्वल टू नेगेटिव इनफिनिटी प्लस एंड सो ऑन एन इक्वल टू माइनस इनफिनिटी माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू अप टू इनफिनिटी लाइक वाइज अप्लाइड इन वैल्यूज नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव फर्स्ट एन इक्वल टू नेगेटिव नंबर माइनस इनफिनिटी एंड सोन एन इक्वल टू माइनस टू ए माइनस टू जेड माइनस ए होल पवर माइनस टू एंड देन एन इक्वल टू माइनस वन देन ए माइनस वन जेड माइनस ए होल पवर माइनस वन एन इक्वल टू जीरो देन ए नॉट जेड माइनस ए होल पवर एम होल पवर एम इज जीरो जेड माइनस ए होल पवर एम जीरो इज वन सो दैट हियर देर इज ओनली ए नॉट प्लस आफ्टर जीरो एन इक्वल टू वन ए वन जेड माइनस ए होल पवर वन ए एन इक्वल टू टू ए टू जेड माइनस ए होल स्क्वायर प्लस एंड सो ऑन दिस इज द सीरीज इनफाइनिट सीरीज फ्रॉम माइनस इनफिनिटिव टू इनफिनिटिव नाउ द सेम सीरीज कैन बी रिटर्न एज इफ ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू माइनस इनफिनिटी प्लस एंड सो ऑन प्लस ए ए माइनस टू जेड माइनस ए पवर इज माइनस टू सो टू गेट पॉजिटिव पवर टेक इट इन डिनोमिनेटर जेड माइनस ए होल स्क्वायर प्लस ए माइनस वन बाई जेड माइनस ए होल पवर पॉजिटिव वन प्लस रिमेनिंग एज इट इज ए नॉट प्लस ए वन जेड माइनस ए प्लस ए टू जेड माइनस ए होल स्क्वायर प्लस एंड सो ऑन आफ्टर दैट इन दिस एक्सपेंशन द कोफिशियंट ऑफ दिस इज मेन टर्म टू डिफाइन दू दिस इज द मेन टर्म द कोफिशियंट ऑफ वन बाई जेड माइनस ए वन बाई जेड माइनस ए इज हियर इट्स अ कोफिशियंट ए माइनस वन ईज कॉल्ड रेसिड्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड ईज डिनोटेड बाई रेसिड्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड एट जेड इक्वल टू ए आलो रिटर्न एज रेसिड्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ ए सो दिस इज द मेन डेफिनेशन ऑफ रेसिड्यू रेसिड्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड वंस अगेन द फंक्शन कैन बी एक्सपेंडेड लाइक दिस इन द इन दिस एक्सपेंशन the coefficient of 1 by z minus a is a minus 1 that is called as here residue of f of z at z equals to a now thus from this residue of f of z z equal to a equals to a minus 1 which is also defined as that equal to 1 by 2 pi a integral over c f of z dz why because we know that standard constant an value is 1 by 2 pi a integral over c f of z by z minus a whole power n plus 1 dz. But here n is minus 1. Now you substitute n equal to minus 1 on right hand side. It will be changed as 1 by 2 pi a integral over c f of z. Denominator whole power 0. So the denominator will be 1. Now f of z into dz. From this here a minus 1 also represented as 1 by 2 pi i integral over c f of z dz. After that, totally in residue of f of z at z equals to a is equal to 1 by 2 pi a integral over c f of z dz by cross multiplication, integration only one side remaining opposite. Integral over c f of z dz also defined as 2 pi i into residue of f of z at z equal to a. This is the main application of residue. With the help of residue. can calculate integral problems also along the closed curve so along the integral along the closed curve f of z dz result also defined as 2 pi i into residue of f of z at z equals to a okay after that <coughs> evaluation of residues now using function form we can decide residues okay residue here if if z equal to a is a simple pole z equal to a is a simple pole is nothing but power is 
factor power is 1 then that point is called is a simple pole then residue of that point at z equal to a formula is limit of z tends to a z minus a into f of z if the point is a simple pole this is the formula for residue suppose if the z equal to a is a pole of order m then residue of that point e is taken as limit of z tends to a is same but here the multiple is 1 by m minus 1 factorial derivative m minus 1 to derivative of derivative with respect to z into z minus a whole power m into f of z same factors but z minus a power is given as here m z minus a whole power m into f of z now it's for this derivative applied d to the power of m minus 1 by dz to the power of m minus 1. So once again if z equal to a is a simple pole this is the formula for residue of f of z. If z equal to a is a pole of order m then residue of f of z at z equals to a is limit of z tends to a 1 by m minus 1 factorial d to the power of m minus 1 dz to the power of m minus 1 z minus a whole power m into f of z. Sometimes to get uh, residues of given function we have to expand the function as per infinite series. In the expansion of f of z the coefficient of 1 by z minus a is called residue of f of z. This is another method. Suppose residue of f of z at infinity, infinity also a point, we, if we need the residue of f of z at the, at the point z equal to infinity, then formula is limit of z tends to infinity minus z f of z. So another method is residue of f of z at z equal to infinity is minus residue f of 1 by t at t equal to 0. So if you if we need residue at infinity this is the formula now if f of z is of the form f of z equal to u by v form phi of z by z of z for this function if we need residue in this case first the condition is phi of a equal to 0 but phi of z of a equal to 0 phi of a not equal to 0 in this case residue of f of z at z equal to a is obtained by taking limit of z tends to a phi of z by z as of z phi of z by z as of z z as of z is nothing but differentiation of z of z with respect to z these are the methods to evaluate residue of given function now the first problem find poles and residues for the function f of z equal to z plus 3 by z minus 1 z minus 2 here also we need poles and residues. There are two problems. For both the problems we need poles and residues. First solution. Name of the function given as here f of z. Given that f of z equals to z plus 3 by z minus 1 into z minus 2. For this we need poles first. How can you obtain poles by equating denominator to 0? We will get poles. Poles are nothing but singular points. So that first to find poles. To get poles, denominator z minus 1, z minus 2 equal to 0. From this z equal to 1 comma 2. Both the factor powers power of the each factor is 1. So both are simple poles. Simple poles of the function f of z. After getting this at each and every pole we have to define residue also first. Residue of f of z. What is the formula simple for simple pole as per node point if the point if the point is a simple pole then residue of f of z at that point taken as formula so that as per this residue of f of z at z equal to a equal to limit of z tends to a 
जेड माइनस ए इंटू एफ हाफ जेड आफ्टर दैट रेसिड्यू फर्स्ट पॉइंट ए इक्वल टू वट इज पॉइंट इयर वन सो दैट फर्स्ट रेसिड्यू एफ ऑफ जेड एट जेड इक्वल टू वन लिमिट ऑफ जेड टेन्स टू इन प्लेस ऑफ ए नंबर इज वन सो दैट इयर आल्सो वन जेड माइनस वन जेड माइनस एफ ऑफ जेड इज नथिंग बट गिवेन फंक्शन वट इज अ फंक्शन जेड प्लस थ्री बै जेड माइनस वन इंटू जेड माइनस टू दीज टू गिट कैंसल लिमिट ऑफ जेड टेन्स टू वन जेड प्लस थ्री बै जेड माइनस टू नौ दिस इज ए प्यूर्ली लिमिट प्रॉब्लम नौ यू कैन सब्सिट्यूट जेड ईक्वल टू वन That equal to one plus three by here, one plus three by one minus two equals to four. So that residue of f of z at z equal to one is minus four. After that, second next. Second point here. There is another point. Is also a simple pole. Same formula useful here. So that first residue of f of z at z equals to second point two. Now this this is the formula main formula. If the pole is a simple pole, then residue of f of z obtained by taking this formula. Limit of z tends to a. जेड मैनस ए इंटू एफ ऑफ जेड फार्मला ए गिवन एस टू लिमिट आफ जेड टेन टू टू जेड मैनस टू एफ ऑफ जेड इज जेड प्लस थ्री बै जेड मैनस वन इंटू जेड मैनस टू दीज टू गिट कैंसल नौ लिमिट आफ जेड टेन टू टू जेड प्लस थ्री बै जेड मैनस वन We can substitute jd equals to two, then five by two minus one. Totally five. This is residue of f of z at jd equals to two. The same one second function given as here. f of z equals to z cube plus 3z by z minus 1 whole cube this is next function for this one also we need poles and residues so that first to get poles equate denominator to zero so that to find poles So consider z minus one whole cube zero. Then z equals to one is a pole of order three. Okay. Now can define so residue of f of z at this point as per formula. Now. Here the pole of order m. Here pole is a simple pole. Then the formula of residue is this one. But here if we is pole z equal to a is a pole of order m, then formula is limit of z tends to a one by m minus one factor like this. So that once again I'll remind the formula. Z equal to a is a pole of order m. Then Residue of f of z at z equals to a e equals to limit of z tends to a one by m minus one factorial m minus one to derivation of z minus a whole power m into f of z. This is the formula. So that here also the present pole of order is three. 
सो दट रेसिड्यू आफ एफ आफ जेड एट जेड इक्वल टू प्रसेंट पॉइंट इज वन इन प्लेस ऑफ ए इज वन लिमिट ऑफ जेड टेन्स टू वन वन बै एम मैनस वन हिर् एम इज थ्री सो दट हिर् थ्री मैनस वन फैक्टोरियल एम मैनस वन डी स्क्वयर बै डी जेड स्क्वयर जेड मैनस वन हॉल पवर थ्री एफ आफ जेड एफ आफ जेड इज नथिंग बट वाट इज अ फंक्षन हिर् जेड क्यूब प्लस थ्री जेड बै जेड मैनस वन हॉल क्यूब इंटू नौ दीज टू गेट कैंसल दट ईक्वल टू लिमिट ऑफ जेड टेन्स टू वन वन बै टू फैक्टोरियल डी स्क्वयर बै डी जेड स्क्वयर जेड क्यूब प्लस थ्री जेड स्क्वयर थ्री जेड ओनली नौ फस्ट डिफरेंशन आफ दिस वन रेस्पेक्ट टू जेड टू टाइम्स लिमिट ऑफ जेड टेन्स टू वन दिस इज वन बै टू डी बै डी जेड ऑफ अगेन डी बै डी जेड ऑफ जेड क्यूब प्लस थ्री जेड टू टाइम्स डिफरेंशन सो दट ई कंसिडर वन टाइम इयर वन बै टू इज ए प्यूर्ली नंबर टाइट इट अवट सैड हिर् लिमिट ऑफ जेड टेन्स टू वन डी बै डी जेड अवट सैड डेरीवेटिव एज डी डिफरेंशन आफ जेड क्यू प्लस थ्री जेड इज थ्री जेड स्क्वयर प्लस थ्री अगेन देर इज ए डेरीवेटिव आपरेटर अगेन डिफरेंशियेट दिस विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू जेड वन बै टू लिमिट ऑफ जेड टेन्स टू वन हिर् थ्री इंटू जेड स्क्वेर डिफरेंशन टू जेड प्लस जीरो टोटली वन बै टू लिमिट ऑफ जेड टेन्स टू वन सिक्स जेड Now this is a purely limit problem. In place of z, you can write one. By writing one in place of z, here one by two into six into one. That is equal to result is three. So residue of f of z at z equals to one is three.